Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here in LA. I've literally just landed from Seattle from the jump rope weekend. And I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm gonna go and meet Mike Fry. I'm in position, I'm staying up, it's getting late. An amazing jump roper. We're gonna have a catch up, we're gonna do some more jumping. My calves say no, but I'm just gonna power through, which I would never advise anybody to do, by the way. I'll be careful. I think I'm gonna see if maybe Mike can talk a bit about the mic release and how he invented that. But I also am really tempted to to attempt or try and do more of a Mike style combo with him. So let's see. Let's see what, what I can do and what we've got time for. So yeah, let's get to it. So I had a thought, but I don't know if this would work. So what if we did like, you do a footwork thing and then it goes to me for like eight counts or 16 and then yeah. I do some like crossing thing and then actually you and then back to me and then we like do it together where like I'm doing some footwork stuff with you which I would suck at but I could yeah. learn it and then we would do like eight counts of that and then eight counts of like some leg crossy thing. We can do. I feel like you could probably teach me some things. Like okay. my toads and Krugers aren't bad. They're I good. Can you can awesome, do an awesome Annie. Awesome Annie. Yeah. We can see how we get on okay. and then yeah, maybe we can put the footwork in. I always find when you put footwork in though, it looks better when you do have it on a beat. Yeah, so I always so do my leg crosses to beat two, but- Oh, you my, do? Oh, I do. Okay. But like my one thing was like, you're so fast with most, most yeah. stuff you do. It might, even then if it's fast, it might still be slower than your yeah. usual speed. If I could do something that like matches your usual speed yeah. or maybe even you a little bit slower. Yeah. And then for the joint thing, it's fast, but it's like not crazy, crazy hard. Like yeah. stuff you already know and then maybe a couple new things. There's some stuff you would pick up, I think, really quick. Do it so that we stop when the other person does their thing. My legs. No, that's perfect. That's There's one I really that. like that's where it's just step, step, kick, leg over, toad. Yes. Uh, step, step, here, and left leg over. We can cross out or toad out of that. I can. And the leg over. Oh, okay. Straight into the toad. Oh yeah. 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 Maybe we break it into four. Yeah. First section, do that steady sort of this thing. It's impressive, but it's also not like our fastest stuff. Yeah. And it's like, okay, this is cool. But then like, holy shit, so fast, yeah. so fast. And then maybe we can come back together, possibly doing something fast, even if it's like a, a double under combo with like open, open side cross, side cross. Yeah. I'm open to anything. But I like that we started together at that slow one and then going just crazy fast. I don't know how you can clean it up, but... Here and then just swing EB on the left and then left EB toad. I've done that. You're, you're gonna get in like one second. <laughs> so like your um, your top arm will stay in place and then the arm under your leg will just swing behind your back. Yeah, right oh, there. Oh, as okay, you, and that goes behind. Yeah, 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 right as you swung out, it just goes right there. And then behind and then lift that leg. Yep, yep, yep. There. And then one more step after, but yeah. Um, well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then because you're gonna get it very soon, as soon as you do this, uh, take your back arm out right away. So it's yeah. here, here. Once you jump, the back arm comes out. Yes. And then, so we could side swing. I think on eight coming out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you yeah. just open there, that's that's good. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Because that's eight. That open is eight. So yes. it's just getting the, everything now. That was it, yeah. Do you want to try it at the same time? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yeah. Perfect. That's it. Okay, first eight count is good. I think you're not the only one that's got sore legs after the weekend. Gosh. When I was like 10 or 11, I could just do it. Like, I have to warm up for like half an hour. I will die. <laughs> Just, actually, I need to figure out what I'm doing. Ninja with a 
rope over here. <laughs> I feel like I've done so many things over and over this weekend. I need to do something different. This turn where it's like, you turn, drops you behind your back and yeah. swing out. Mm -hmm. um, or, to, oh, wait, or go no, other, um, I guess if you turn left and go right behind your back. It's kind of weird. Go. I know what you mean. I'm trying to think which way I want to do it. Could you go? One, two, and three, and almost uh, double out of it. Yeah. One, two, and three. It's only three counts, but two and three. Yeah. yeah. And then something else. But. We go end to the trusty mix. Yeah, I do love ending on a mix. So, uh, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, one. That's good. Yeah. like a single double under or two in a row maybe thrown in somewhere yeah. it wouldn't have to be four it could be like one and two one and two three and four five six seven eight one yeah sweet sweet open and then the turn yeah, have to be that. Like turn one two. yeah you do your mix that fast don't tend to quite fast okay oh that's very fast yeah so i go one two three that's perfect oh my gosh <laughs> There's obviously a beat that I typically jump at. Yeah. So I could find music that perfectly <laughs> is on it. I'm obviously quite consistent. Yeah. So I just thought you're just quite consistent and then you just find something in it. Well, works. there have been times, I think I have like an internal metronome yeah, a little bit. That's so it. I'll do a combo with no music and it's like, shoot, yeah. let me find something and then it works. But yeah. so much of when I first started jumping, we would do like uh, team routines. We just were always jumping to music. <laughs> Maybe if we pay someone to distract him. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I messed that up. It's okay. What did he say? He said his managers, they can see it on the camera, and they've told him that we can't do it there. Good. That felt good. That's it. That last bit, we had that spot on. Yeah, perfect. I want to get in there so bad. I, mm. I think we'll, look, we've got something. Should it's we get a picture in it at least? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just determined to get at least a video of Mike doing a TJ or something in slow mo with this backdrop. So yeah, we're just going to try and get away with it. I don't break any rules ever. So, Mike, so I have mentioned this on this vlog before that you invented the mix release. Although I know you like to say you popularised it. Uh -huh. Everyone else says you invented the mix release in the jump rope world. So tell us that story. So back in, I think, 2004, 2005, jump rope summer camps were like a huge thing. And me and a bunch of people that I would jump with and compete with went to the camp called Southern Camp. And there's a few days before everything gets started where you're just kind of making up the tricks. And it's very like creative, free flow of ideas similar to jump rope weekend and and we were all playing around with this rope release that people were sort of messing about with and we were all kind of playing around with that motion of, sw of swinging it and I had this idea of like what if you turned around stuck it behind your back 
flung it off your arm and then went into a TJ. And what would that be called? And my nickname at the time was Mick Fry, short for Mike Fry. So one of my like idols, one of my jump rope idols was like, just call it the Mick TJ. Take the Mick from like Mick Fry, yeah. add it to the TJ. So that became known as the Mick TJ. You came up with the idea of doing a release connected to another trip. So yeah. We never thought to, to isolate that. No. Movement. It was Even all though that's how we would all learn it now. Yes. It was always like part of, it was attached to another yeah. move. So we're all playing around with it. I was the first one to do a Mick TJ and then a couple other guys, there was one guy who did a Mick AS, right? So same setup with the turn, off the arm, fling it around, and then like a triple under to an AS. And we're all just playing with it. And it was always Mick something. It was never yeah. just by itself. And then as time went on, people were like, well, we don't have to do all that. Yeah. What if you just do that release? And it's like, well, if, if a Mick TJ is the release to a TJ, the release is just a Mick. And so it sort of took off like that. But as I've like said a million times, like the movement itself, I can't take full credit for that because that yeah. originally came from rhythmic gymnastics. Yeah, well, I suppose it's like anything, like nothing ever totally new. Is That's it? true, it's yeah. Like brought that to jump rope. Yeah, yeah, I named it for sure. I popularized it and like it is now like associated as, you know, I'm the guy who uh, created the mix. So. Amazing. Do you reckon you could do a McTJ? I will try. We might have to go somewhere else. It's basically a, a cross with one arm under your leg. You can also swing into a toad and then obviously you open. But the TJ is all of that in one jump. So you're swinging into a toad and opening all in one jump, which is what makes it a triple under because it's three rotations of the rope in one jump. So the foot TJ. Where does the release come into that? For the Mick TJ, at least in its initial like form, the release is, I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna stick one arm behind my back, place the handle here off my elbow or like, yeah. or forearm, and then from there I release, I pop it up, it's a, it's a wrist pop, but it ends yeah. up being a little bit higher up. And then at that point, once it's released, I should be in the air. Yeah. And it's going one, two, three. So the Mook TJ is not just the release, it's also the part turning. Yeah, I would say too, like if I started backwards and did this part, I would probably still call that a Mick TJ. So it's just slight variations, but the trick name itself wouldn't really change. You just, yeah. in the description, you'd say, I'm going open toed open. But for this one, I'm just starting backwards. Yeah. Thank you for making me do that because I would have never done that trick again. It's crazy because all of us jumpers, like people from my generation, people like Nick, Kaylee's a little bit younger but still kind of in our generation, Brian, we all just grew up like doing this thing and it, were, like, it wasn't cool, like we got made fun of. We would do these tricks and like a hundred people knew about them. And so to see a trick that you were part of like, you know, putting into the sport, to see like people from like India and South Korea and, and like the UK and Brazil doing that trick. And everyone loves it. It's, and it's probably the trick that I get so many more comments about yeah. than any other trick. Yeah, it's hard to do and to learn and get the technique right, but it's also really accessible because yeah. you don't have to be like, you could have bad knees and yeah, still do a mix. that's when I learned it. Yeah. I, I overdid it at the start and I had two weeks off of jumping and I just drilled to this. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's been amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you check out Mike. I'll put all the details. You coach in the area in LA, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I do kids so, lessons, adult lessons, anything yeah. really. If you are in the LA area then definitely check out Mike if you're after any coaching but if you want to get started with a rope you can check out my app Fancy Feet I'll pop the link in the description you can try that for seven days and learn to jump rope I'll also pop details in the description for ropes and mats and a discount code and I will see you in my next video that's a wrap isn't it <laughs>